So last episode, we defeated the Toronto Raptors, and we were pretty much nearing the end of the season. There was like 20 games left. We were first in our division, so I decided to go ahead and simulate the rest of the games here. And, uh, well, we're going to simulate this last one against the Detroit Pistons. I just didn't want you guys to miss any of the stuff after us, so I waited on it. But yeah. I'm going to get the playoffs started, guys. So this episode, we are going to be preparing for the playoffs, seeing where we stand, and seeing what team we're going up against, and all that good stuff. Because like the playoffs, that's what it's all about. If you're a reg you cannot be a regular season team. And to be honest, a lot of people think that Carmelo Anthony is just like a regular season player, where um you know like he he puts up the stats, puts up the numbers, gets his paycheck, and then come playoff time, he just kind of doesn't really do much out there. Has Carmelo Anthony? I, b I believe he's made it past the first round. Um, I don't think he's ever made it to a conference finals. Maybe when he was on Denver, maybe he made it to a Western Conference Finals. I don't believe so, though. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, but I don't think so. And we actually end the game, or end the season, with a blowout against the Detroit Pistons. And Melo actually put up big numbers, so getting him into form is really important. Uh, Porzingis, you know, needs to play strong as the rookie. Brandon Jennings needs to get other people involved, which he's doing in this game. Marty Sotomayor grabbing rebounds, so a lot of good stuff going on in this game. And I really think going forward... Uh, you know, you really want to end the season on a good note, so that way you go into the playoffs with a lot of momentum. And it looks like James Harden, James Harden, aka the Bearded Mamba, has won the MVP. Man, look at those numbers, like 30 points a game, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals a block, like that's insane. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, the first round pick on the Timberwolves, I don't know why he's number 32, but that's all good, I guess. He got Rookie of the Year, so that's not bad, 12 points a game, he'll definitely be a solid player, putting up rebounds too, and a few assists actually, which is surprising. Emmanuel Mude, he actually is a rookie himself. To win the Sixth Man of the Year award as a rookie, has that ever happened before? I don't know if that ever has. Um, so it's like, yo, you got Sixth Man, how did you not get the MVP? Or the Rookie of the Year, I mean. <laughs> and then Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year, man, those are MVP numbers right there. Oh my god, 26 a game, 9.3 rebounds, almost, or two blocks, almost, no, almost two blocks, a little bit over two steals a game. Those are insane numbers. Uh, a Clay, 47, with the most improved player, you know, him and the Splash Brother. Steph Curry put up big numbers on the Warriors there. I imagine they'll probably be a first seed out West. So, uh, you know, that's pretty big for them right there. And our guy, Michael Goodrich, just our made-up coach that we just signed, he got coach of the year. So that's pretty impressive right there. But, man, we did some good things with this team. You know, like a final record of 59-23. and And look at that, E.T. Crispy, <laughs> executive of the year. I forgot to change his name. That was from, like, a series I was going to do where I was going to make it like, do look like an alien. It kind of looks like an alien. That's actually my face scan, so I guess that's what I look like. But yeah, so these are the season awards here. Um, let's see if I don't I don't know like how how do not how do no Knicks like I'm looking at this here. No Knicks made it on the NBA first or second team or third team. I think we, I believe we are the first seed. But the thing about our New York Knicks is that besides for Carmelo Anthony, he's a superstar, right? I mean, would, you would probably consider him a superstar with the amount of money he gets. Um, but it's like our team is more based on. A group of guys a core group of seven to eight guys that's our rotation pretty much and we all just play hard any guy can go off any game you know we like to pass the basketball we like to make all the hustle plays and all that good stuff out there is uh philip turner here trying to give us some more you know goals and stuff going to the playoffs so you know well, we're gonna win that championship don't worry guys we're gonna win it that's our goal you know going into the season actually to be quite honest the goal was to just rebuild the team make them get to the playoffs so we actually are over selling ourselves or like over achieving ourselves and hopefully it doesn't set ourselves up for failure. But in my opinion, you know, we made it to the playoffs as like, I, I, we're going to see it's like here, like what seed we are. I think we're the number one seed, but I could be wrong too. And uh, yes, we are the number one seed and we're going up against the Pacers, the Indiana Pacers. That's actually a scary team to go against. I would have preferred like the Celtics. I think we would have matched up better against them. So we're actually going to check out their roster in a second here, see what they're all about. But we all know they got Paul George. Uh, they got Monte Ellis. They got the rookie Miles Turner. I don't know what he's all about. So he's actually a pretty good, uh, I think he's more like a center. Maybe he's a power forward. But he, he's kind of like a stretch guy out there. So he can actually shoot that three ball pretty good. And I actually heard pretty, uh, pretty good things about him out of Texas. So that's going to be an interesting one. They also got George Hill at their point guard. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I think really, uh, let's, let's check out their team in a second here and see what they're all about. Let's go to the uh, player stats. You know, this is our team right here. You know, Melo averaging 22 a game. But we're all about them paces. We got to see what they're all about there. And that's why I take a quick look here. I mean, like, Brandon Jennings, 14 games. So, look, our, our guys are very balanced scoring. Like, Grant and Porzingis, those are our rookies. And they're actually both starting. And we're number one seed with two rookies. That's impressive. That's very impressive indeed. And, okay, so the Pacers, uh, Paul George averaging about 20 a game. Monte scoring a lot. I forgot they got Rodney Sucky, too. So, I'm not really too I'm not really too afraid of him. And it looks like Miles Turner is actually injured. So, that's actually pretty big for us if it's, like, a long 
you know, longevity injury. So maybe some, okay, it looks like it's just day-to-day. -day, so that's not really a big deal. But still a lower leg stress fracture. That's kind of a big deal itself. So maybe that's something that will get re-aggravated. I hope not. I don't like people, I don't like players getting injured. Uh, but they got a lot of no names on here too. Who's Kellen Tantis? Uh, they got Mahimi. They got Lavoy Allen. So I'm looking at this team. And I think our objective or our uh, kind of our game plan is going to be surrounded by attacking the basket, going to the paint, and shutting down their guards on defense because like it doesn't look like they have much of an inside game. So uh, nothing really I'm too afraid of there, to be quite honest. So if we can attack the basket, although we got Tyson Chandler, so uh, you know our, our guards, you know, Brand Jennings is not much of a defensive player. Uh, Jerrion Grant, he's actually pretty athletic, so I think he'll be able to hold his own against Monte Ellis, to be quite honest. And we got Carmelo Anthony. He needs to play some defense on Paul George, of course. And, uh, okay, they, okay, this dude day-to-day, -day, but he's out, so I don't know what that all means. Like, how you day-to-day, -day, but you're out. It's like, if you, you think it would be more like a, a probable injury instead of an out injury, but I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. But, yeah, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know uh, how should we handle the playoffs. I think I'm going to do, like, two or three games a series, and the rest will probably be simulated. I'm not really sure yet. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, my friends, and peace out.